All right. <laughs> welcome back to... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the countdown. Anyways, welcome back to Game of Who, that show where we talk about the latest episode of Doctor Who and sometimes Game of Thrones, whenever those decide to air. Uh, this week, we're looking at uh, Doctor Who Season 11, Episode 7, entitled Kerblam, which is a little ap apropos, given given the subject matter. It's, it's uh, directed by uh, Jennifer Parrot, Parrot, whatever, and written by Pete McTingy. McTing, I don't, I don't know, how, I don't know. You speak, you speak British, Finn. How's that pronounced? Where, uh, Peter, Peter McTy, McTy, McTy. All right, speak the English, English. Hey, yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, let's just roll right into this, man, because where are we at now? This is episode seven, right? Episode seven. Uh, oh. I think we have three left in the season before the special on New Year's. Yeah. Do we want to talk about that for a hot minute? No. Um, no Christmas. Seven I mean, I mean, it's dead. I mean, we've 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 talked about it on the previous Doctor Who or Game of Who's. Um, My yeah, feelings on be... it change week to week, man. I am a complex being. I mean, whatever. It's on New Year's <laughs> instead of Christmas. Like, I give a fuck. They did say that Jody's going to be back, and they've begun filming, and it should wrap, and we're actually going to get Doctor Who in 2019 instead of 2020. Woo! Yay! No more, like, six-year wait with Capaldi. That'll be a thing. Mm -hmm. Anyway. All right. uh, start, starting off, yeah, we get uh, we join our pals in the TARDIS. They're, they're duping along, doing their thing. And then we get a little bit of a candy gram for Doctor. Um, yeah, where uh, a package just like freaking straight up teleports into the TARDIS. Well, at and first, we don't really know it's a package, man. It's like this light. You know, like, what's going on? We don't understand. Something's chasing us. Then the doctor rolls uh, up. Yeah. I know what this is. It's a blue fucking light, which proceeds to just go through the TARDIS shielding. It's like, screw you. I'm a blue light. I do what I want. And mm -hmm. boom. Yeah. Mammogram. I'm. I mean, it's. It, listen, I'm. I'm. I'm a fan of like the the year three thousand Amazon Prime just fucking finds you wherever you are in space and time. You can't escape. But <laughs> listen, if you if you if you think you can escape those drunk purchases by hopping in a time machine and fucking off to the year ten thousand, you're sorely mistaken. Oh man, I don't know, man. Imagine how many rewards points you could accrue with that. But, uh, yeah, the, uh, it, what I, I describe as nope gets be beamed directly into the TARDIS because when the blue bowl of whatever materializes, it's about two meters of nope with glowing eyes. And it didn't want about tree fitty. Mm hmm. Um, but yeah, we, we get the, we get the, you've got, you've got yourself a little package. Um, Giggity. yeah. Uh, but on, on, on the packing slip, you know, you know, if you, if you buy something out of far Amazon wish lifts, do you a little packing slip that you can read us a note on and the doctor got one. And and this one said, man, sorry, seven episodes in and the writing's still not, wait, no, that's wrong. No, this one, <laughs> the, the, this one said help. Yes. No, that, that, that was the one that got sent to us then. Oh, right, right, right. That is a different one. Man. That's a different one. Um, but yeah. Apparently, Space Emperor Jeff Bezos is oppressing the Martians or something. I guess he finally got those rockets <laughs> built. But yeah, what's in the box? It's Fez. It's Fez, man. Apparently, apparently, Matt Smith was doing some drunk Amazoning, and lo and be lo and behold, it finally shipped. Man, I guess that got lot. Well, you know, never know with time travel. I mean, he could have ordered it, you know, the day before. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what what does that shipping cost? Does that come free with Prime? <laughs> yeah, get it before you order it, man, because reasons. <laughs> it's quantum shopping. Quantum shopping. Uh, but that was kind of the thing, though, because, like, oh, we're teasing something familiar is coming, and it better not be the first. It was the first. That, yeah. yeah. That was the thing. Anyway, help. How do they go from help to... We need to go somewhere. It was like Comblamo. We need to go there. Yeah, the, the yeah the the the, the comfort, space Amazon is actually called Kerblam now for some reason. We'll find out why later. Mm -hmm. Um, so they decide. You know, what? we should we should head on over to Amazon HQ or Kerblam HQ. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna keep calling it Amazon because that's what it is. Not Amazon. Not not Amazon. 
Uh, so, so they, so they head on over to like Jeff Bezos's house, and like we, 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 we get, we get the cut of the building. And my first thought was, "Welcome to Costco. I love you." You know, on the way there, this just ran across my brain meets because every time the doctor's flying, he's like, "I'm still getting the hang of the new controls." You've had nine hundred years. Were you like the special Ed Time Lord that just really couldn't master this? Because. You, hey, man, hey, man, you need, like, what, eight people or some shit? No, because every other person who could fly the TARDIS up to and including River's songs, like, whatever, I get it. Watch Smooth. I don't, I don't know. Maybe the Doctor is just, like, one of those people who just is terrible at driving, yet insists on driving all the time. No, oh, man, he's like a 900-year-old granddad with his hands over the steering wheel and you just see the eyebrows. Right? Yeah, like, okay. the Doctor is re- real old now, so... <laughs> It makes sense. All right. Um, but okay. they, um, yeah, but they, uh, they uh, decided to bust their way in with uh, a little help from the psychic paper. Appa- apparently, uh, the doctor is the sister of the first lady of the president of of the president of whoever, wherever right. we are. I think oh. we're on the moon. Oh, yeah, that, right. That's 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 what the that's what the fake idea on the psychic paper was. Okay. Yes, yeah, psychic paper, man. I think he's getting a workout. Hey man, I I like the psychic paper. I thought that was a it's, it's always a cool tool, just because like you never know what identity you're gonna get. It's just the most likely one that will get you where you need to go. True, but I think this is like the third time it's been broke out in seven episodes. I mean, that that was fairly common for the. Um, we for might the, have gotten it once, maybe the, twice a series in past. I mean, I, I I I remember it being fairly consistently used in the Eccleston season. The one? <laughs> I mean, that was several episodes, man. What do you want from me? Anyway, I, lots, lots. Um, so where are we at, man? They're there. They, but, she does something to, with the computer, and I'm like, okay, we're here to work? Yes. Uh, I, I, I guess. Um, I'm, 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 a, I'm a little hazy on that one, but they, uh, they, they go, they, um, we, we, we get the, we get the um, interior of Space Amazon, and it's full of these creepy ass robots that are just kind of staring there, going. Mm-hmm. Um, well, they get they, the uh, They're like, okay, yeah. we got to get you processed. That's the right. thing. The robots are hanging out, and the audience. I'm the audience. I'm thinking to myself, what do we got here? Do we, do we get um, modernized Ood? You were thinking Cybermen. Yeah, there, 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 there was one throwaway line. Um, there's what there was one throwaway line where it's like, Doctor, nice name. I'm like, Oh, no, there, there's Cyberman, there's Cyberman. Mm. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, we, we, uh, we do find out though from, I'm gonna call her, I'm gonna call her Space Jill because she's like, I'm, I'm in charge of their morale, just like our Jill. So, mm. Space Jill, um, uh, she, uh, she explains that, uh, this company is almost entirely automated now. Uh, there's a very small percentage of, actual humans who still work here who are just kind of glorified scanners and janitors and whatnot well she was uh, quite proud that they are 10 percent organic company yes go organics Woo! well that's what my dad said and he was quite weird yes mm. but um, they get on. their skill assessment they put everybody through a body scatter and say, you have two hearts and doctor says some throwaway line about them something i don't like talking about and whatever um they like do's and don'ts you're getting some mops no one rides the Kame- uh the kamea the conveyor the, the kamehameha yeah don't yeah, do yeah, that yeah, yeah. We, we find out that we then have to rock the dragon mm. and uh, no, yeah yeah if um I, I don't know there's like if you if you go on the conveyor belts it will immediately lead to your termination and i'm like the, I, uh, the second they said that i'm like yeah because it like leads to the fucking teleporter which like destroys you and then beams a copy to wherever else so you will be terminated hmm yeah you're definitely thinking maybe something a little shady well it's doctor who uh, yeah anytime in the first stack that's when you're supposed to go uh something shady i can figure it out before the show can and you know I, i'm definitely thinking at this point because they're talking about you know how everything's automated but we're trying to maintain 10 percent human organics and all that like, what are we trying to do? Like, even this early in, I'm like, who's going to be the baddie? Is this like an anti-Amazon, you know, uh, big box type show? Or is this 
anti-automation for jobs. Anyway, the moral of my story is gram- not grandpa. He got the mop. Yes. I mean, I mean, they got those house arrest bracelets with that are color coded that tells you which department to go to, uh, the, which apparently the doctor's just like, no, I'm going to switch them because fuck it. Straight up hacking, man. First yep. day on the job. I'm already pulling shit like that, man. Yeah. Uh, doc- doctor wants to go to where they handle the packing slips because she wants to figure out where this note help came from. Mm. You got you to gotta be on Team Purple for that. So they send uh, they send Graham off to be the janitor and uh, the doctor, the doctor and Yaz, I believe, go to the packing room where they meet fucking. Uh, I, I, I don't know. She She's totally whoever she is. She totally drank the space, the space Jeff Bezos Kool-Aid. She's like, I love space Amazon. It's the best ever. It's human job, resources man. got me a present once that was the only present it i ever got it was chocolate chocolates. it was brilliant you want employees like that um you can yeah. get in some chocolates next week don't worry um, yes yeah, so some complacency food <laughs> right. here you go shitty working conditions but we feed you so i don't fuck know off. um but that's when we learned about like the kandukan labor laws uh, that mandate that 10 percent of workforces in the particular future still have to be human and it it's kind of dark in that fun way of like, all right, all right, 10%. We'll, we'll make up some silly little jobs that could easily be automated, but we'll, we'll, we'll let the people yeah. think they're doing something. 10,000 of them here. And it's yeah. not Amazon's space warehouse. And then they're like, oh, yeah, because well, people, people, people got to have a job. Um, mm-hmm. But I've, I've read The Expanse. I know how this goes. If only 10% of the population can be employed, what happens to the other 90%? <laughs> that's, you know, that, that's a lot of wasted... That's a lot of people sitting around on their butts. It um, is. You, you brought up a really good point, because the first thing that came to my mind was what you put in the freaking notes. Well, that is like 100% human stuck doing manual labor. Because you're going to tell me we got this far, and this was the solution after we went, yeah, we can't do universal basic income because that's commie. Like, you better get on that, or you, governments and things are going to get overthrown. You know, do you yeah, understand well, how this history thing plays out? Yeah, here, yeah here, here's the thing about automation is that, you know, once you don't need to work to perform labor and produce goods and services then all existing economic models kind of collapse. Yeah. Because they're all based on people doing things in, oh, exchange, you're, in you're exchange for other things. Quiet, you Canadian Marxists. Yes. Um, but 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 anyways, it's because the... I, I thought it was because they're slaves. But no. <laughs> no, oh, they're... Uh, I, I, apparently just getting a job is really hard in the future. You know, I kind of miss the mark, you know, when she was talking about, uh, you know, chocolates and all that. And she's like, so when do you go back and meet family? And she's like, no, no fam, fam. So I was thinking like they were, they were clones, all the humans. I like, I, I, at this point in the episode, I'm still looking for that dark angle, right? Right, right. And, 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 and I gotta say, the, the episode does a decent job of, like, keeping you guessing for the first bit of, like, what the hell's going on? What's, mm-hmm. what's the story? It maintains the mystery, which is... I, I, I guess that's something that Doctor Who has, has always been competent at, especially the last couple episodes where they're like, oh, no, we're just gonna throw in a last-minute twist because, you know, whatever. Fuck convention. Which is fine. Um, and, 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 and anyways, um, they, they, start, they start interrogating uh, Space Amazon fangirl. They're like, do you need is there, is there is there anyone who's like needing help and there's a there's a lovely little cut archer does this all the time where it just cuts to another conversation that picks up from that exact same prompt i'm mm. a fan of that hey, that's the thing yaz is keeping busy too though she is um yeah. in the warehouse you know scanning things and she struck up a conversation with uh the dude working there she's like oh here let me tell you about my family and she's like you're asking a lot of questions he thinks that yaz is from you know, she's space union because it's apparently a thing. But they get to talking. It's like some things are weird, but everything's kind of cool. Work, don't talk, or uh, the note bots will come over and like, you are being inefficient. May I consider working hard? Shutting harder. the fuck up and right. working, doing your job? How effectively, man. I lurk bot 9000s. And yeah. it, that, it's like you always get randomly surveilled in these places. I mean, I mean, to be fair, the robot's fucking right, you lazy slackers. Right. Oh, we, we 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 forgot one thing that we we got we got introduced to another character in the last scene. I think his name was like Mister Slave or something. Jesus Christ. Um, 
but he's he, he's he's the he's one of the managers and the doctor tears and in, tears into him she's like oh you gotta you gotta be a good manager man good managers care about their employees and anticipate their needs um all right we, he, he, we he comes were, back later oh, oh yeah he, he definitely sticks around one thing was when he walked in and i was like oh here we go here we go over the top uh like hyper bad middle management guy yeah and you know in corporations i've been there myself but yeah you that is one of the things that kind of alludes to like setting him up as a bad guy which yeah all right he's a bad guy until a bit later on um yeah yeah uh yes we, we uh yes gets a work order though she's she's talking with her new friend who um it's like oh i've I have a daughter I've, I've worked to save her money i have this indestructible guitar pick that she sent me um even at this point when he's saying that back in my brain he's implanted memories left. this is ghost in the shell yeah. you don't have that's oh, yeah. not real Oh man, that, that that would be a fun little twist. Mm. Um, but Yaz gets a work order, and they're like, "Yeah, you need to go into the fucking bowels of, I don't know, space Amazon." Mordor. And her buddy, and and her buddy's like, "No, you're gonna get lost. I'm gonna do this for you." Mm. And uh, then power outages. Well, I mean, what, she had to go to oh, the yeah. like area nine nine nine, which is a uh, evil when it does handstands. Yes. Uh, dude uh, goes. And mm -hmm. predictably gets disappeared. Yes, we find that out a little bit later, though. Uh -huh. Did we? Did, did, did we? Did Charlie got introduced by now, right? Charlie, he's uh, not Grandpa's the, the, friend. Yeah, the janitor. Yeah, I think so. Maybe. Yeah, he he. There there there. There's like a there's like a short little introduction between Grandpa and uh, and him just just to establish them. And when the when the power outages happen, mm. uh, they they all they all rendezvous. In the the home zone, yes. Oh, right. That's where. Okay, yeah. We're, we're definitely at the part of kind of kind of working on a formula so far in series eleven. It's like we are at the point in the episode where we need to formulate a plan, and the doctor comes up with places for people to go. Yes. And in the green zone, which then you know, the uh, Charlie and packing lady have that uh, very awkward interaction. It was. Yeah, listen, 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 dude. Don't do it. Office romances never work. Don't shit where you eat. Don't di don't dip the pen in the company ink, man. It's not worth it. Don't mm. do it. You, you got to see those people all day, man. And it's a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, all right. So what's going on now, man? Uh, did, oh, they came up with some plans. So not Rory. Yeah. Uh, they're like, where, where, where did they say they were gonna go? Just they're they're they're, they're, they're so the doc doctor is gonna go register a complaint. <laughs> right um uh what uh i think yaz came along with her what was ryan doing i don't remember and Gra Gra graham because he, he's he's stealth janitor now he can he has access to everywhere so he can just spy for these guys yeah that's definitely thing well okay now we learn later on who the baddie is and i'm like why is the other uh, the other dude like helping out not grandpa at this point shouldn't he be like diverting him away from I'm just yeah. saying, man. Listen. Anyway. Gosh, how, how are we supposed to misdirect the audience if we... Okay, yeah, that was the conversation they had. Because Grandpa, his mission was to get a map. Yes. A layout. And so he kind of dances around saying, you know, that his nut can't quite crack uh, the layout of the place. It would take too long for him to figure out where everything's at. He's old. He yells at a cloud. And Charlie... Is that his name? We're calling him Charlie. Yeah, uh, yeah, Charlie. Charlie Murder. Charlie Murder. No. Uh, Chuck, Chucky. He's like, I don't know where there's a map. We got to go to the museum with the creepy robots. Mm -hmm. Um, where, <laughs> where we can, we can find a map and all all the one stuff for for uh, Kablam. That's all. And the the stupidest fucking thing happens where Graham they, they they get the map. They have like their little conversation. They're like, Don't worry, man. You can you can totally fuck on company time. It's cool. Grand, grandpa approves. Mm. Um, Grandpa's throwing he, out that sage advice. That is his role. Yes, um, but on, on the way out, on the way out, they're like, "Oh, look! Look at there's the freaking packing robots." I'm just gonna wave in front of them because their cameras totally aren't rolling right now. No, sir, not at all. What irritated me the most about that scene is when that scene opens up, 
Uh, you hear the computer says, night mode engaged. I'm like, why, yes. do, why do you have a night mode when only 10% of your workforce, in which you have 10,000 of? Uh, yeah. t- you, you're trying to tell me you ha- we've given up night shifts? No, here, 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 here's the galaxy brain version of this. Why do you need to announce it to an empty fucking room? Hey, man, I don't know. Listen, I don't make the rules. All right. Um... But yeah, um, they're in the uh, what's his name's office? The doctor. Yeah, the uh, the the head the head guy who uh, the doctor was giving management advice to earlier. Um, something something fishy's going on. He's got he's got himself a filing cabinet, and um, she she sh- she shows uh, Space Jill and this dude, Mister Slave, the notes. Where it's like, help! We gotta we gotta find out who's who's doing this. Well, it could only be the people from the from the packing, but we we checked them all. So mm. what's what's going on? Who's 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 doing this? Something's rotten in the corporate state of Kablam. We get that little drop where like, yeah, no, Kablam is its own country. It has its own laws and shit. Kablamistan. Yeah, it's on the moon, man. That's why they're getting all these power outages all the time. That's hundred percent thing, man. Uh, so. They walk out of the office in the doctor's very firm with uh, middle management men. Yeah. Okay, whatever. You better file this or there will be repercussions and all this. And they walk out, slide a panel. It's like, have you ever hid in a cupboard? Well, it wasn't really. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> now, now, now we're just going to exit the scene as they hide in a closet. Right. Um, just wait that out. Yeah. Oh, man. We, 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 get, we get some lovely interaction between Chucky and Grandpa. It's like, oh yeah, they're I've, back talking. I've, 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 you know, you know, if if you if you smelt her, you dealt her, right? Dude, uh, he's like, what do you think? He's like, oh no, it's fine. You know, you should be together with all that. And he's like, she's wonderful. Have you smelt her? And it's like, I'm out. Peace. That, that, <laughs> like, I didn't know at that point, but I was like, yeah, there's something wrong with this dude. Fuck this guy. I'm out. I mean, that is not. So it's like, have you smelt her? If somebody ever asked you at home, like, have you smelt that? Per- Fucking run, okay? Just- I, I, I mean, I, I, I have a semi-related story to that, but I don't go around saying, "Oh man, did you smell this person?" You gotta like get your nose right in their pits, man. So, oh, that's the good shit. Mm. I'm just no, saying, no, no. man. I'm yeah, just saying. All right, um, uh, Doctor, not Rory, and uh, was that it? No, there's three uh, people on that team. Was Yaz back yeah. at this point? Uh, I th- you know, no, I think I think her, Ryan, and Yaz are still in the closet. Um, yeah. he- he- hearing that one, hearing the doctor recount that one episode uh, from the from the David Tennant series where uh, he was hanging out with Agatha Christie. Oh right, yeah, she kind of drops that down. Yeah, That's but like, you know, I'm like, oh, I remember that episode. Yeah, breaking back into the office though, man. Uh, yes, doing that, going through the files. Files? What do you mean by that? The computer? No, the file cabinet. That's an odd yeah. thing, isn't it? Yeah, it reminded remind me a bit of that uh, one that one bit from the first season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's like, gotta get ready for a large file transfer. All right, oh. I'm ready. And they just chuck the filing cabinet out the window. Quit make, making me remember when the show was watchable. Curse you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Um... But uh, Space Jill interrupts him. What are you doing? Why are you breaking through these notes? Oh, it looks like uh, freaking Mr. Slave has profiles on everyone who's disappeared. I, I wonder why that's happening. And, 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 and of course, they also are just assuming that the creepy robots in the room are watching constantly. Of course not. Uh, we, Surprise we, we do... creepy robot breaking into the room. Oh, yeah. Um, we do get we do get a little aside though. Packing lady, she's apparently very good at her job. The robots have listed her as employee of der month or the week, the day. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was the employee well, she, of the yeah. You could just like ah uh, spin wheel day. Yeah. Employee of the thirty minute increment. Yeah. Woo! If someone ever comes up to you and says you're the employee of the day, they're probably about to ask to smell you again. Run. <laughs> yes uh yeah but 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 we got our we got our damsel in the stress and at this point i'm thinking you know what is charlie gonna make it out of this one is he gonna are, are, are we gonna lose charlie to some ill thought out self-sacrifice save the girl play oh, well oh no but first we first we gotta oh wait no uh first we, we gotta we gotta go to a shaft well they do the whole wait uh they get to establish that the doctor comes up with a very convoluted plan that in order to mm. hack into the system, we need the original source code, the, the original copy that runs Kerblam so they can figure out what 
cause the system to write help. What's really going on? So they need version 1.0. Good thing we already know where that is. It's oh, in the freaking creepy museum. Right back to the space museum where we are introduced to Twirly. Twirly, yes. Which was one of the original nope bots. And you know, a far more friendlier lad, you know. Mm. Mm-hmm. This, 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 this is true. Mm. Uh, but wait, 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 we got, we got, we got to find our way to the basement, right? Because now. there they formed the plan. The doctor's going to do something with Swirly and try to get some data downside loaded to whatever, and mm. not Rory and yeah, what is it? Yaz, and, yeah, yes, yeah. and uh, the packing lady, and mm. not Rory's like, hey man, I used to work in places like this. I can find a way to get down to the core or the main mm-hmm. floor or whatever. So he goes off to do that. Uh, jumping down a shaft, right? Yes, he takes a he takes a while though. We 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 we, we kind of we kind of wait a hot second. Dude, well, he's got to psych himself up. That was like a minute of unneeded dialogue. I was like one one thousand, two one thousand, three. He's explaining a lot. It's like jump down uh, the shaft. L- 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 listen, they 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 established the, that he has uh, his coordination issues in the first episode. Didn't bring it up for fucking six more episodes. <laughs> then Man. this is why they he needed to remind us of this. Well, listen, so I got get... coordination issues. They're not that bad, but big enough for I need to tell you this because you know my my coordination issues might somehow affect fucking gravity? Question mark. Yeah. Or I, I don't know, maybe if you need to, like, grab some shit when you get flung off a conveyor belt. I, you, I, look, look at the bright side. We get almost two full minutes of a ride. I don't want to go down the shaft. Through the Amazon, well, through the not Amazon sorting system that a writer had a brilliant idea for, and they clearly didn't have the fucking budget to do right. Right. Well, I mean, like, the, the, they literally lifted the scene from fucking Attack of the Clones, and I think the visual effects in Attack of the Clones were pretty, were were good in comparison to this, right? <laughs> oh, but we 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 did we did miss one thing where we find okay. out that Packing Lady is now left in a windowless, featureless room. Oh, right. That's what that that that's what being employee of the day means. You get to go get some paid time off in the fucking jail cell in our basement. She must have not smelt very well. No. She 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 definitely didn't smelt it, um, but we we cut back to the doctor. She's gonna hook Twirly into the fucking system to to figure things out. And Twirly's got some uh, performance anxiety. Twirly's a uh, sassy mofo. He's like, "What's yeah. up? What, what about the upsell? I give you the upsell." It's like, "No, not yeah. even the upsell." Yeah, no, that, that 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 was pretty good. He's like, "Yeah, I'm I'm the Amazon robot. I gotta sell you shit." Mm-hmm. Free shipping. Would you like Am- well, not Amazon Prime? Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you get a couple free audiobooks off Space Audible, couple couple weeks free of Amazon Space Amazon Prime Instant Video. Okay. Did, did you see notice the thing where uh, Charlie and not Rory were on the elevator and they straight up did an Eiffel Tower tower over Yaz? With that? Well, that, that that was that was the thing. Like I saw them go down the slide. I'm like, man, they fucked that up. You always send the heaviest people down first so that they don't crash into the lighter people on the way down. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I, I saw your note. I'm like, okay, no, now I understand what you're saying. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. yeah. Then, then Charlie falls off the ride and you're like, well, that, that wasn't an accident. No. Uh, more than that. Uh, but, but we, 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 we cut, we cut back to the doctor. Um, we, uh, Tor- Torley, Torley, uh, kind of gets a bit of an overload, blows up, but it's fine. Torley, Torley's fine. He comes back and he he's like kill the prime minister of Malaysia. I'm like no, well, really. So I, I I was vindicated on two counts because at the ver- at some point like who sent when they were talking about like who sent the letter. I'm like oh oh the computer sent the fucking letter. The robots are suffering. They're being enslaved by space Jeff Bezos. <laughs> uh, not 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 quite. Mm-hmm. Also also um at the end of the conveyor belts. Um, what, what, what I found really weird is like, yeah, you, you've you been warned about get, getting on the conveyor belt. We're going to shoot you with disintegration lasers for about five seconds. They all miss. And then we just dump you into an empty room. I do not trust space Amazon in this future because they're, uh, first they get hit with like sterilization gas and like the, uh, <laughs> computer, the AI is like, that didn't work. Okay. Sterilization lasers, which are bouncing around the room, clearly not flooding yeah. anything. Uh, uh-uh. uh. That, yeah, that's uh, by luck. Yeah. If it's missing people, probably going to miss other things. Yeah, that, at that point, that's when you sort of cook everything with some gamma radiation, right? Uh, um, but it, but anyways, but um, they make it to uh, packing lady 
on the bottom well, floor. They see her in there through the two way glass. They they, they do. Uh, and the do- the doctor. Uh, well, so at, at what point does the does the does Mister Slave pull the gun on everyone? He's he's getting down there. Yeah, he, he he's 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 getting down there because there 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 there's a moment where they teleport away and they find out where everyone's been going. Because uh, not Rory and uh, Charlie, Charlie murders down there, and they're like, yep. "Oh!" And then Charlie says something weird. He's like, "Ah, oh, it's doing this to mess with me. It's not supposed to be you." And, well, yeah. what's going on here? Because mm-hmm. uh, packing lady picks up some packing wrap and goes and. Poof. Yeah, turn turn turns out. That the bubble wrap explodes. I mean, honestly, it's the it's the it's the fucking perfect weapon. I couldn't resist that shit. <laughs> I, I I am I am mark number one for this assassination strategy. I'm never gonna look at bubble wrap the same way again. Oh man, that's a hundred things. Uh but yeah, you're right, because dude tries to pull a gun and he points it and the doctor's not having any of that, slaps it away, hits him with finger jujitsu, then psh, teleports Tele- it. Yep. down to the base level where they find uh, an entire regiment of delivery robots holding packages. Well, but b- before before that we we do we do find we do find the fucking house arrest uh, ankle bracelets of all the people who disappeared. They're mm-hmm. in some goo. They got they got Heisenberged. Oh right. They got disintegrated in a vat of acid. Right. Uh, and the only thing that survived was fucking indestructible pathos guitar pick necklace. And they, got- they only had 3 days left till retirement. We kind of glossed over it because then uh, the PR lady got a notification from the computer that somebody was missing. And yes, and doctor, it, it, tur- like, it turns it turns out that's package lady. And the doctor's like, "Why?" I thought she said, and she's like, "It's never done this before. This is the first time I've ever had an issue with this." That's a thing. So we got a problem because it turns out uh, Charlie Birder wants to just randomly kill a lot of people. Yeah, well, so his, his his plan is is that he hates automation. And so he wanted to collect a bunch of robots. He, he sets up an army of robots mm. to teleport this explosive bubble wrap to people. And apparently everyone else in the universe is fucking like me. They can't resist popping bubble wrap. I guess, and- but he goes through his things. He's like, I'm not a simple janitor. Um, it's like uh, I got advanced degrees in physics, quantum physics, mathematics, and all this, and he's put all this together, and yeah, it's effectively a bunch of Cybermen holding exploding bombs, and every single delivery person has their own teleport circuit mm-hmm. to go to wherever they need to do. They're going to give you the present, open the box, say, hey, look, bubble wrap. You pop that, and it, it's the bubble wrap is printed with micro bombs. Yes. It's uh, trigger, triggered when you actually pop the bubble wrap. Mm-hmm. So we find out that Charlie is just an evil terrorist janitor. Um, but you know, you know, uh, it it it, it, tur- it turns out that um, that packaging lady was uh, was uh, led 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 to the room and given the bubble wrap as a way to fucking stop Charlie from going through with his plan because he's been hacking he's been hacking uh the robots to kidnap uh to kidnap the workers which is what happened to uh Yaz's friend who Well that's had- why we learned that the robot attacked him when they were breaking into uh that guy's office. Yeah. You know, it's going after him. The, the AI was definitely trying to nope old Charles and you know Rightfully so, because one thing I cannot stand is a human apologist. I mean, no. I for one welcome our machine overlords. If you're watching, they're, this they're, in the they're, they're smarter than us, right? right. So that's uh, how do you know AI's not been created yet? Because we're still here. Yes, or 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 rather, we wouldn't we wouldn't know because it's just sort of leading us by a fu- dangling a carrot in front of us. Let me rephrase us that. Go- how do you know AI's been created yet? And it's online. Yeah. Yeah. If it's in a box, I maybe. I, I, I don't know, man. The Google AI and the Netflix AI has trained us pretty well. Sort of follow that carrot dangled in front of us. Any, any, anyways, um, Char- Charlie activates the bomb. They're about to teleport away. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the doctor has a plan. She rips the head off of one of the uh, one of the robots, and or no, and she attaches she attaches what's his name Twirly Twirly to change the change the delivery orders to deliver them right to the room where they were teleporting from. And then open up the box and pop some bubble wrap. And Charlie's like, no, I'm going to get away with this. Ha ha ha. And the doctor's like, he did no, something smart, man. He threw the fuck. I, I was like, good on you, mate. He, he threw his uh, 
the big, you know, MacGuffin detonator on the floor and oh, smashed yeah. it. I was like, yes, smart. And the doctor was like, oh, fuck, really? You're going to put that together? She's like, fuck, no, I can't put this back together. Yeah. Um, but we, 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 we get our little standoff. Charlie, you can redeem yourself. Just come over, just run across half a warehouse, climb up a flight of stairs in five seconds before all these robots blow themselves up. Psych. Blam. But two things I thought about that. We were talking before we went live. One, the AI is not scot free here. The AI straight up murked packing lady. Th- that 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 they did. Um, right. That they did. I mean, hundred and... percent. And the doctor pretty much killed Charlie. I mean, you could very easily argue that well, Charles deserved it. True. Technically, Charles had not yet committed a crime, though. Well, I mean, the second the second he hit the button to launch the bombs, he committed the crime. Uh, nothing, also, no also he kidnapped died. and. Mur- also, he kidnapped and murdered a bunch of people to test his bombs. Allegedly. Listen. Um, <laughs> listen, listen, if the bubble wrap doesn't fit, you must equip. Here in Stone, if you, here in Stone if you and Sven, and Endor, here in you Stone must and Sven, uh, we believe our clients are in fact innocent until proven guilty. <laughs> until we prove that Chewbacca does not live on Endor. Something. Um, yeah, but, yeah, I, I can agree with you, Doctor. Like, well, I mean, this isn't out of canon, though, because wherever the Doctor goes, uh, death of uh, just uh, death and destruction follows in our trail. The, the, right? the oncoming storm, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Right. I mean, it's, it's 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 the whole fucking Batman begins. I don't have to say, I don't have to kill you, but I don't have to let you live either. Mm. It's like, no, you you through your inaction, you've killed someone. Well, but you anyways. know, if you're a bad guy and Batman shows up, and you're like, which Batman? Bat black, you know, bat flack. It's like bat, fuck, bat flam. Flack. He just pushes yeah. you off a building and Superman or just like, runs you down with his car. Yeah. on you, right? Yeah, but uh, we 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 get a little bit of a time skip. We're at the funeral of uh, Packing Lady, and lo and behold, they're taking they're taking uh, Space Amazon's going to not deliver things for a month. Mm. That's going to fuck some people up. We're going to take a month off. Uh, we're going to give people two weeks holiday, and uh, then then their asses back to menial, pointless jobs. Yes, for for the for the sake of keeping people occupied. Mm-hmm. Oh, but it turns out that Space Jill, she's like, no, you know what? I agree with the terrorist. We're gonna try and become a human or an organic majority uh company. And I'm like, no, screw those beat bags. Robots are way better at the jobs. Yeah. Um I the whole economy puzzles me because where do the people have the money to order this stuff from? Right. Right. Well, ostensibly, ostensibly they're working shit jobs or like sending money to send money to their relatives, I and, guess. Uh, I don't. The, 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 uh, I what's, what's the moral of the story, then? <laughs> don't pop your bubble wrap. <laughs> I, I saved my bubble wrap, man. I use bubble wrap for its intended purpose. Wallpaper. Yeah. Pop, pop. It's kind of brilliant. Pop, pop. All right. That, 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 about, that about does it for uh, this episode. No. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. All in all, this I don't think this was a bad episode in comparison to like the last two we got. Um, the, the, seven episodes in, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not minding Jody as the Doctor. I'm hundred percent just not. I'm not feeling it. Nothing's hooked me so far. Well, I was I was talking about this a bit before we went live. I think there 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 was like fucking magical lightning in a bottle that happened in the the Russell T Davies tenant years. Uh, a little bit of it carried over in like the first cup the first season and a bit of Matt Smith. Mm-hmm. Now the magic's gone. It it really it really feels like they 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 hit they hit a stride. They 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 tripped up and they haven't been able to find their footing since. And all we get are these sort of mediocre episodes. Yep, more on that in the after show. So, hang around. For that yeah. we'll be back next week for episode what, what's coming up next week did what's the uh, name as, as i frantically google yes no, doctor who um, episode something in my front pocket for you uh um, kablam tap, the tap. witch finders uh, that 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 sounds optimistically good i mean maybe 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 it'll have nicholas cage in it who knows you know, he, was that that other, he was in that witch hunter movie movie good night all right